Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we're talking about P130A fault codes. A P130A fault code is gonna read cylinder deactivation detected, and this is going to be mostly common on Volkswagen and Audi vehicles. Cylinder deactivation is a term that is used across a number of other manufacturers that refer to the fuel management technology that actually shuts cylinders down under optimal driving conditions to improve fuel economy. But the P130A fault code for Volkswagen and Audis is actually a little bit different than that it gets even a little bit more confusing because Volkswagen and Audi does have their own cylinder deactivation technology which is called ACT or activated cylinder technology but when it comes to a P130A fault code essentially what this means is that the engine is shutting off all fueling and all spark to a specific cylinder because it has detected excessive or continuous misfires so ultimately if one of your cylinders is experiencing a ton of misfires back to back to back or over a short period of time, your engine is gonna throw a P130A fault code to let you know that the engine decided to cut off all fueling and spark to that cylinder to ultimately protect your engine and more importantly to protect the catalytic converter. What happens when you have a bunch of cylinder misfires but you're still dumping fuel into the cylinder is that fuel essentially exits the engine through the exhaust valves and ends up in your exhaust system and because the exhaust gases are extremely hot that fuel then ignites within the exhaust system and it can actually completely destroy your catalytic catalytic converter. So at the end of the day, a P130A fault code is caused by misfires. It's more so going to be an ancillary fault code that you're likely to see alongside a P0300, anywhere from P0301 to P0304, indicating that you have misfires on a specific cylinder. Sometimes you might get a random one-off P0300 or 301 if you have just a singular misfire, but the P130A lets you know that we have a ton of misfires that are taking place. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk briefly about some symptoms that you'll get with a P130A. Because we're getting cylinder misfires, we're going to get a lot of rough running or rough idling from the engine. While you're accelerating, you might feel a lot of like blips or bumps. It's kind of sluggish. You'll notice kind of hiccups with the engine and a lot of excess vibrations. And then you'll also likely notice that your engine's going into limp mode or safe mode, and you therefore have a number of performance related issues with it. And most importantly, if you read your engine codes, you're probably also going to have a misfire fault code or some other fault code alongside the P130A, which is going to be extremely important in diagnosing what the actual issue is. In terms of common causes, the most common causes of a misfire are going to be your spark plugs and your ignition coils. If it's not one of those, which I'd like to say probably about 90% of the time it is, then it's likely that it's either a vacuum leak, an issue with your PCV system, an issue issue with a bad injector or a wiring related problem that is causing either an injector or a spark plug or ignition coil to not fire properly. So when it comes to diagnosing a P130A fault code, it's going to be most important to look at what other engine codes you're getting alongside the P130A. Because it's caused by misfires, we're very likely to have a misfire fault code, which is a P0300, but they do identify specifically what cylinder it is by letting you know it's P0301 all the way up to P0304, letting you know whether it's the one, two, three, or four cylinder. They can go up to six or eight depending on how many cylinders you have, but this tends to occur mostly on four cylinder Volkswagen and Audis. By looking at that specific number, we know which cylinder has the problem, but it's also important to look at what other fault codes might be present. If you have a fault code relating to the PCV system, then that's a good sign that maybe it's a PCV problem that's causing your misfires. If you have a weird electrical type fault code, then that's a good sign that it might be an electrical issue. And so ultimately, the best thing we can do is look at what other fault codes are present to try to determine if maybe it's something other than the spark plugs or the ignition coils. But like I mentioned, about 90% of the time, it's a spark plug or an ignition coil. And so what we can do to test that is to go ahead and figure out what cylinder is having the specific problem. So if it's cylinder one, for example, we can go ahead and take a spark plug or an ignition coil from cylinder two, and we can swap that with the one in cylinder one. And then if we reset the code, 
we can go ahead and drive again and see if the misfire follows to that second cylinder. So if we have a bad ignition coil on cylinder one and we swap that over to cylinder two and put the good one from cylinder two back onto cylinder one, we go drive around if we're now getting a misfire fault code for P0302 for the second cylinder, then that means that the ignition coil was bad because it followed us to the next cylinder. But if all else fails and you don't wanna go through the diagnostic troubles of swapping ignition coils and spark plugs around, then just go ahead and buy yourself a brand new set of spark plugs and ignition coils because there's a pretty good chance that's the problem, especially if you haven't changed those in a while. And I generally always recommend changing all your spark plugs and ignition coils at the same time. So if you're gonna do one of them, it makes sense to go ahead and do all of them. If the issue isn't spark plugs or ignition coils, then you're going to have to do a lot more kind of diagnostic checks here. You want to go ahead and look for any vacuum leaks anywhere, any hoses that have popped off, any holes in any piping or systems. You'll want to go ahead and check your fuel injectors, which can be done with scanning tools as well, but it requires some more advanced kind of diagnostic knowledge that we won't get into in this video. But most importantly, go ahead and look at what other fault codes you have to see if that can point you to any other system if it isn't the ignition coils or the spark plugs. Anyways, guys, that covers it for our video on P138 fault codes. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all our future content.